Here's a short overview of Google image searching to help you get the most out of your image search and hopefully uh, just to help you find exactly what it is you're looking for. Okay, so I am at the home page here of Google and I went to, I clicked on images to get to Google images and I'm going to start out just searching for flowers. And what I want to do is show you some of these tools here to help make your search a little more specific, a little more relevant to what it is you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for just yellow flowers. I can click on color and I can pick the color that I'm looking for. And Google will do its best to show me just that color that I chose. So there are my yellow flowers. I can do the same. Um, let's see what they have for blue flowers. And there are all of my blue flowers. Okay. I can filter this out by size. So let's say I want a really large image for what I'm working on or a medium size image. I can filter that out there. Um, as far as type, here, let me clear this. And I can filter it by clip art. If I'm doing a collage and I want just clip art pictures, I can filter it by clip art. I can filter it by line drawing. If maybe you're doing something where you're going to print it and color it, line drawing might work well for you. I can filter it by GIF. So let's say I want something that's animated, something that's going to move or do something. Typically with a GIF image, that's what you're going to get. See, so this one changes colors. Okay. I can filter, let's say I want newer pictures of flowers. I'm going to go back to any type here. And let's say I want some newer pictures. I want flowers that were uh, pictures that were just taken this past week. And I can filter that out um, even more there. Usage rights, typically, um, if you're just working on a project for for this class, typically whatever you find on Google is going to be okay, but you could indeed filter that like by Creative Commons licensing and uh, images that are okay to use for just about anything. Okay, I'm going to clear that off here and show you a couple more things. So image size is the next thing I want to show you here. So let's say I am working on a project or I'm designing, let's say, a web page, and I'm looking for a very particular sized picture that's going to fit in the space that I have. Typical image size is going to be about 640 by 480. So I can actually type in image size 640 X for by 480. And that should filter it by pictures that are just that size that I've asked for. Let's see, 640 by 480. Or let's say I'm looking to fill in just a square and I want a picture that's a perfect square. I can change that to 800 by 500 and I should get just square pictures. Okay. There we go. Okay. So the next thing I want to show you is file type. And I want to spend a little bit of time here on file type because I see this come up pretty often. Let's say I'm looking for a PNG image because I want something with a transparent background. So I'm going to go to flower image. You know what? Let's change it up. Let's go to the beach. So I want beach. File type PNG because what I'm attempting to find here is something that's transparent in the background. That may or may not be the case. Okay, so let's take this image for example. I'm going to show you how to check on that. Let's take this image for example. Typically, the checkerboard in the background indicates that it is transparent in the background. Okay, so I'm going to double check this by right clicking and I want to open the image in a new tab. Okay, that's just kind of a better way to preview your image as well. Here's my image in a new tab. If I've opened my image in a new tab and I still see the checkerboard background, 
that image does indeed have a checkerboard background. They kind of tricked us on this one. Um, this one will not save with a transparent background. It'll save with a checkerboard background. Let's take a look at another one. I want this one. Let's filter it. Actually, let's filter it by transparent and see what we come up with. And sometimes this works and sometimes um, same situation. It may or may not give you actual transparent images. So let's check this one. This one appears to be transparent. Let's check it by right-clicking and opening the image in a new tab. See where the checkerboard is not in the background on this one? This one will indeed save with a transparent background, okay? So if I were to right-click, save image as, um, and just drop it onto my desktop, I think I already saved this one. It's right there. Um, you want to just double check that it's a PNG image. This one is indeed a PNG image. Okay, so if we actually stop and take a look here at these images that I've saved, this one here, this is the one with the transparent background. I can tell because it's just kind of clear in the background. This one was not transparent. This one was not transparent. They saved with the checkerboard background and that's, they kind of trick us on that a little bit. So I wanted to point that out to you. Um, if I just to kind of show you what that looks like. I pulled up a PowerPoint slide and I inserted both images. So here's our tree with a transparent background. Here's the one that claimed to be a transparent background, but it did indeed save with the checkerboard background. Okay, um, back to, let's go back here. So again, transparent, not transparent when you open it up in a new image. Okay. Next thing I want to show you is a reverse lookup. So let's say I used a picture for a project and I'm not sure I want to go back and give um, attribution to that image and I'm not sure where I got it from. I can do a reverse lookup. Okay. So let's say this tower picture. I happen to know it's the Eiffel Tower. Um, but if I drag it in there, it's going to tell me, it's going to identify it for me and tell me what it is. Um, show me some things that are similar and it's going to bring up websites where I can actually find that image. Okay. So that is another useful feature is a reverse lookup. Okay. Last thing I want to show you here is just some of your settings where you can do a little more of an advanced search. And here are some of our advanced search features. So let's say I am looking for a penguin. You could um, type in just the important words or if you wanted an exact word or phrase, um, I can filter it by region here. So let's say I want a penguin picture, but I don't want Illinois Zoo penguins. I want to see penguins from Antarctica. And I can click on the advanced search button, go to my images, and this should bring me penguins. Yep, Antarctic field guide, penguins from Antarctica. Okay, so those are just a couple of things that you can do with Google searching. Hopefully that helps you when you're doing some Google searching to help you find exactly what it is you're looking for and kind of just refine your searches.